Thank you for listening to the Gift Up podcast. Make sure to hit that like button, share the videos, and subscribe. In this podcast, I want to talk about the recent signing of Nigel Bradham to the New Orleans Saints. I first want to say that I like the move. I think it's a really good fit for what the New Orleans Saints needed. They added speed, and they added a linebacker that can cover on the outside here. They really needed somebody that can legitly go up against running backs, against another team's tight end. And that's really what Nigel Bradham's forte is. Um, his forte isn't stopping the run, playing up close to the line. It's in coverage, in zone coverage, in nickel formations. That's where he's at his best. I will say I was actually really surprised that the Eagles didn't re-sign him because he was always the one standout linebacker there that got the job done in coverage for Jim Schwartz on that defense. So I am surprised that they let him go, but this is going to benefit the Saints. I think it's going to make a top five defense even better. And really, uh, this secondary is extremely good. I mean, I've talked about it before. Uh, Janoris Jenkins, Marshawn Lattimore, Malcolm Jenkins, uh, P.J. Williams to back them up. Swearinger can lay hits. You got to like what you see here on this defense. It's talent stock from top to bottom. Um, The last thing I want to say is I got my eye on Marcus Davenport as a player that needs to take that next step because I think about how scary this defense could be if he can do that. If he can get double-digit sacks with Cameron Jordan, and then you already are set at DT with Malcolm Brown, Sheldon Rankins, they're going to be a really good tandem on the interior. But Davenport really has to step up and be that that other dominant piece on the D-line because it seems like everything else is in place here. Uh, This Nigel Bradham signing was huge. Um, I think it's not knocking Demario Davis, but I don't think of Demario Davis as a, a linebacker that can go out there and cover a tight end or cover a speedy running back. He's good in his own way. He's more physical. He can move. He is athletic, but not that way. Nigel Bradham has that kind of speed. That's why I like the addition. Make sure to hit the like button, share the videos, and subscribe.